Question number six is worth £2,000. Big sigh of relief now, but you know that you're going home with at least £1,000. Have a look at question number six. Here it comes. In which county is the town of Penzance? Norfolk, Devon, Cornwall, Warwickshire. When you're working in the post office, <laughs> yes, <laughs> and you get yes. a parcel for Penzance, where do you send it? We normally send it to Cornwall. Final answer? Final answer. Cornwall. It's good, it's the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> You've got £2,000, Peter. Have a look at question number seven. It's worth £4,000. you have used no lifelines at all so far. You're going well, no problem. Have a look. This is number seven. It's worth £4,000. Perambulator is a formal word for what? Moving staircase. Pram. Lift. Bicycle. It's a pram. It's a pram. It's the right answer. You've got £4,000. <laughs> Right, you've got £4,000, you've still got those lifelines. You would lose £3,000 if you gave me a wrong answer at this point. But you've got all three lifelines. The next one's worth £8,000. You're guaranteed £1,000. Here it comes. Which official is the head of the government in Germany? Premier, President, Chancellor, General Secretary. Can I ask the audience? You can. Audience, uh, this is worth £8,000. Rather small change by your normal standards, audience. <laughs> uh, question number eight. £8,000. This is the question. Which official is the head of the government in Germany? A, B, C or D? It's worth £8,000. All vote now. <laughs> but it's up to you. They might be wrong. I'm going to play. And I'm going to say Chancellor. Going along with this audience? I'm going with the audience. That's what I thought. Final answer. Final answer. You've just won £8,000. <laughs> well done, Daddy. <laughs> right, you've still got 50 50. You can still phone a friend. You've got £8,000. Have a look at question number nine for 16000 Which of Shakespeare's characters says, Is this a dagger which I see before me? Macbeth, Richard II, Portia, Juliet. You've got 8,000, you can obviously take it and walk away. Uh, you can phone a friend, you can go 50-50 and still take the money. I'll phone a friend. OK, who should we phone? I'll phone Colin. OK. 30 seconds, seven of the questions, four possible answers. You know you don't have to take his answer, Pete. You lose £7,000 at this point if you give me a wrong answer. You have got 8000 at the moment. Hello. Colin. Hello, yeah. It's Chris Tarrant here. Good evening. Good evening, Chris. Good evening, Colin. Colin, uh, I've got Peter here. He's on £8,000 at the moment. Right. With your help, we can get him up to £16,000. We'll try. That'll be good. Yes, please. Um, You'll hear a question and four possible answers from the next voice. That'll be Peter's. One of those is worth 16,000. Fine. OK, good luck. You'll have 30 seconds. Peter, your time starts now. Colin, which of these Shakespeare's characters says, is this a dagger I see before me? Macbeth, Richard II, Portia or Juliet? Peter, I would say Macbeth, but it would be a guess. I'm sorry, Peter, I don't know. OK, Colin. Thank you. That's what I'm thinking as well. That's what I'm thinking. It's worth £16,000. It's up to you. Let's go 50-50. OK. Computer, take away two wrong answers, please. Leave Pete the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Colin says Macbeth. My good feeling says Macbeth. I can't remember Juliet saying that. <laughs> She's a funny woman. <laughs> I'm going to play. 
Final answer. Final answer, Macbeth. It's the right answer, you just got £16,000. <laughs> Next question is worth 32,000. You obviously don't have to play this question. Have a look at question number 10. You're six away from a million. Here it is. The Bortzoi is a breed of dog originating in which country? Ireland, France, Russia, or China? I'm not sure. What do you think? I think it's Russia. I'm really not sure. No, I'm not going to risk it. No, we talked about this. So if I'm not certain, I'll take the money. Final answer. Final answer. I'll take the money. OK, give him a big hand. Peter goes away <laughs> to the great relief of Deborah up there. <laughs> you couldn't see her face. She was going through every emotion. With £16,000, I can tell you, if you'd said to me, Russia, I would at this moment be writing out a cheque for £32,000. It was the right answer. Listen, you weren't sure. No. £16,000, Peter Pycock on his way back to Boston. What well I mate. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, have a great night. So Peter Pycock goes back to Boston, Lincolnshire, £16,000 better off. Right, nine contestants left. No calling out, please. In the audience, let them concentrate. Here comes the question. Starting with the earliest, put these Star Wars films in the order they were first released. So four Star Wars movies coming up, starting with the earliest, coming towards the present day. Here they are. The Phantom Menace, Return of the Jedi, Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. Okay, lots of people there very quick on their buttons. Let's see. Uh, starting with the earliest, then, four Star Wars movies. Uh, first one, then, of course, back in time, Star Wars itself, back in 1977. Then it was The Empire Strikes Back in 1980. Return of the Jedi was 83. And the most recent, The Phantom Menace in 1999. That's the right order. Let's see how many got it right. All these were right. Not that many. Joseph Haviland was fastest in 6.93. Big ladies' night tonight. Yeah. So this is just set Haviland, a police officer from West Sussex in the audience is her partner Keith. Watching at home are the kids, Claire, Verony and James. The strangest thing that happened to Josette was when she jumped out of the police car to chase a suspect and then afterwards got lost and had to ask members of the public if they'd seen her car anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> this car, you know, did they ever find it? Yes, I found it. Oh, good. Where was it? Who had it? It was, it was in an estate, in a housing estate, that was the problem. And I didn't know the housing estate very well, so I had a problem finding back where I left it. OK. <laughs> Fifteen questions, one million pounds, three brand new lifelines. OK, you ready for this? Yes. OK, good luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> So, Gisette, uh, question number one for £100. Here it comes. Which of these phrases means to become secretive or unwilling to talk? Clam up. Muscle up. Urchin up. Starfish up. I think it could be clam up. It is the right answer. You've got £100. Quid. <laughs> OK, you've got £100 at the moment. Have a look at question number two. It's worth £200. Who was the third wife of Henry VIII? The third wife, Julie Christie. Ah. Jane Seymour. June Whitfield. Should we please? Or Joan Collins? I think it could be Jane Seymour. Jane Seymour's right out, so you've got £200. <laughs> OK, have a look at number three for 300 quid. You've got the lifelines, take your time. Have a look. 
North American bison is commonly known by which name? Antelope, buffalo, crocodile, donkey. <laughs> Do. I think it could be buffalo. Not donkey. No. It's the right answer. <clears throat> you got 300 quid. <laughs> Okay, question number four for 500 pounds. You're two away from the first big milestone of 1,000. Have a look at number four. Which of these was a successful US group of the 1970s? Steely Dan, Tinny Jam, Silvery Sam, or Brassy Pan? <laughs> Steely Dan. Right out, so you got 500 pounds. <laughs> They're just being silly. You got 500 quid, have a look at number five. It's worth 1,000 pounds. Here it comes. Which of these countries lies immediately to the south of Romania? France, Bulgaria, Finland, Belgium. Which of these countries lies immediately to the south of Romania? France, Bulgaria, Finland or Belgium? I think it's Bulgaria. You play? Yes. Final answer? Yes. You just got a thousand pounds. <laughs> okay, no problem so far. You got 50 50, you got phone a friend, you got ask this audience. Have a look at question number six for 2,000 pounds. Here it is. Who created the secret agent James Bond? John Le Carre, Ian Fleming, Len Dayton, Frederick Forsyth. Ian Fleming. Sure. No, but I think so. <laughs> it's up to you. Final yeah. answer? Final answer. No problem at all so far. You've got £2,000. <laughs> you got £2,000, you got 50 50. Phone a friend, ask the audience. Have a look at number seven. It's worth £4,000. With which sport is the Australian Shane Warne associate? You know this. You're grinning happily. <laughs> What are you wanting to see come up on the screen? Cricket. Okay. Tennis. Cricket. Australian rules football. Rugby union. Cricket. Final answer. Final answer. It's good. You got four thousand pounds. <laughs> so you got four thousand pounds. This is for eight thousand pounds. Here it comes. Which word follows Lima in the phonetic alphabet? Mike, Mama, Maria, Madrid. Mike. Final answer? Final answer. You have to be right on this. You are right. You've got 8,000 pounds. <laughs> have a look at question number nine. It's worth 16,000 pounds. Here it is. Colorado beetle is known for destroying which crop? Tobacco, cotton, wheat, potatoes. Potatoes. Final answer? Final answer. You just won £16,000. <laughs> Good start, no problem at all. Very positive. Uh, you've still got three lifelines. You are one away from the next big milestone of £32,000. Have a look at question number 10 of 15. You're six away from one million. Which US city is the capital of California? Sacramento, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Berkeley. Los Angeles. Not San Francisco. No. Not Sacramento. No. Final answer. Final answer. You came back with eight thousand pounds. You got to sixteen thousand pounds. You just lost fifteen pounds. Just set. You had all three lifelines. The right answer is Sacramento. Felt positive it was Los Angeles. You're too fearless. Never mind. Oh, I'm so sorry. Give her a big hand. She still goes away with £1,000. Oh, just that. I'm sorry, darling. Oh. oh, a bit of a sad old start. It's all going rather well. Just that. Haviland goes back to West Sussex.